Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And in uh, a question that we had today, and that is a very valid question. And also, we'll add a little something that I did read uh, about um, Windows 11 and its minimum requirements. Is um, the question is simply, does Microsoft really use the TPM in Windows 11? Does it really, really use that uh, more in Windows 11 than in Windows 10? Because, you know, TPM 2.0 is that minimum requirement, um, including other minimum requirements like, you know, the CPU um, and so on. Of course, you can circumvent, you can, you know, there's many ways to still install Windows 11 without the, the requirements. But the question is a very valid question. If you have that minimum high minimum requirement, what is used to um, in there? And um, we'll, we'll answer for the TPM, but for general, um, general Windows 11 also. So, you know, if you want to know if you have a TPM chip and so on, you can go into the search in Windows 10, Windows 11, type tpm.msc and then press enter and it's going to bring you to the page where you might see all the information. So I've got the AMD version here of TPM with a manufacturer version and the specifications 2.0, which is what Windows 11 needs. Um, so, and on the right side, of course, you have information. You can clear the TPM and so on. So is the trusted platform module 2.0 used in Windows 11 more than it is in Windows 10? Simple answer is pretty much no. <laughs> There's nothing, you know, there are things in Windows that use the TPM. But there are things that use the TPM in Windows 10 also. The difference is that in Windows 10, if you don't have the trusted platform module, it's going to tell you that that feature is unavailable. In Windows 11, technically you have it because most people have moved to Windows 11 on a um, a machine that is supported, which means they have TPM 2.0, which means every functionalities will work. But there's nothing added or nothing new that forces the use of a TPM in Windows 11. So that's why people that actually have simply removed those requirements, installed with you know all the tricks possible for the removal of the minimum requirements, don't have any problems running Windows 11 because it doesn't really use TPM that much. Well, it's, you know, very specific things use TPM. It's very specific apps, very specific features that can use the trusted platform module. So technically, no. And technically, um, you run fine if you, even if you don't have a TPM chip or any TPM in your PC. Um, the other thing is about the minimum requirements that I will add here. So the minimum requirements, of course, eighth generation Intel and so on. <clears throat> Those minimum requirements, quite arbitrary. Once again, they're saying, oh, well, you know, this is to uh, make sure that uh, the, uh, the computer, you know, can uh, run well and, and, and make sure that it's secure and so on. You know, they, they always come back to security for everything. And, uh, well, once again, uh, is Windows 11, you know, that tough on the, the computer that it needs a minimum requirement that is so high? So, uh, technically, no. <laughs> once again, this is, <laughs> this is a decision that's been made totally arbitrary, honestly. And that has been made to, I think, just satisfy uh, the PC manufacturers in trying to have more PCs sold. And that's it. I mean, there was an article that I've seen on, on Neowin where someone running Windows 11 on a 12-year-old PC says it's running fine. And it's running great. That just tells you that they have put a minimum requirement that is completely useless in a sense that it 
runs on old hardware. As long as you've got 64 bits, um, it pretty much runs on old hardware. There is really nothing in Windows 11 that prevents it. It's just that they added these little files that check if you have this or that or that before it goes on to upgrade. So, no, Windows 11 does not use anything pretty much that that Windows 10, you know, com compared to Windows 10. Uh, they're the same thing apart from, you know, the looks and the feel that's different. So it's very interesting because, uh, no, there's no, you know, if you are on unsupported, you have, you know, it's, it's sad because what's complicated is the upgrades process and so on are more complicated. It's just trying to, you know, kind of trying to, to force you to not move on or just trying to say, look, um, you know, we're not going to make it easy for those that are not supported hardware. But in reality, they could remove all of that tomorrow morning and it would work fine on old computers and most Windows 10 computers would be totally compatible with Windows 11. You know, it's really just a thing that they decided to add. That's it. So, simple answer. Nope, that there's nothing different or nothing that uses that TPM more in Windows 11 than any other than Windows 10 and even for the minimum requirements uh, Windows 11 runs fine on old you know hardware if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching